My name is Dr. Tara Ralph and I'm one of the internal medicine physicians at Murfreesboro Medical Clinic. I'm here today to talk to you about the ongoing COVID situation. Right now, the CDC has taken to recommending that if you're indoors, whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated, that you should wear your mask. I know that's really confusing for a lot of people because the hope was if you got vaccinated, you could be mask free. The idea and the research that they're seeing recently is that you could be a carrier of COVID, specifically the Delta variant, even if you are vaccinated, and that because of the rapid rate at which the vaccine, at which the virus replicates, it would make you contagious to the unvaccinated population, basically. So you're wearing it to protect the unvaccinated people and specifically the children under the age of 12 who are not approved to get the vaccine. All viruses and bacteria have the ability to mutate. So we know that even some bacteria can become resistant to certain antibiotics over time. They have the ability to learn the antibiotic and to learn how to avoid being affected by the antibiotics, it mutates. So all viruses have the potential to mutate as well. And so, you know, the coronavirus is the common cold virus. It's been around for a long time. It's mutated to become SARS-CoV-1, SARS-CoV-2, um, which we refer to now as the alpha variant, the one that we were all battling last year and dealing with, and now the delta variant. So what it is, is it's a mutated form of the alpha variant that we were seeing last year, and it's now the more dominant um, type of virus out in the communi community. The virus has learned to replicate quicker, um, therefore it can spread quicker, we become more infectious quicker, um, and um, that's, that's kind of what the Delta variant is. So not to be confused with, it's not a new virus, it's just a mutated form of the alpha variant or the original virus that we all think about when we think about COVID. So the risk of the vaccine versus the risk of COVID, I will tell you that a lot of what we're seeing right now is that our unvaccinated patients are getting very sick very quickly because of how the Delta variant works. Again, it replicates six to 10 times faster than the alpha or the original variant that we're all familiar with from the past year, year and a half. Um, so it replicates faster and it's, it's making people sicker quicker a lot of times. Um, immunity for, from having had COVID, the, the actual virus itself, having been infected with the COVID virus, how long that natural immunity lasts varies from person to person. For example, I had two patients last week, similar age, same gender, had it both had it in April, both kind of the same severity because severity doesn't play a role in how long your natural immunity will last. So we should just debunk that myth currently. The severeness of your particular infection does not predict how long you will keep natural immunity. But both of them had around the same time, both of them had their antibodies tested here to see if they were still naturally immune to COVID. One was and one was not. So the immunity, the natural immunity varies from person to person for how long it will last. The average time span that we give right now is that you should be immune naturally for approximately 90 days. Um, some people may have natural immunity longer than that, some may not. Um, so that's why the recommendation is even if you had COVID and you're 90 days out from your original diagnosis that you should be vaccinated um, because your natural immunity may not last you the course of this pandemic. As a physician, um, I definitely understand that people have a lot of questions about the vaccine and whether or not it's right for them. And I would definitely just encourage everyone to ask those questions to their physicians, reach out to MMC, any of our doctors would be happy to answer your questions about the vaccine. I can honestly tell you that in my 10 years of medical practice, plus my years of training leading up to this, I have read more about this vaccine and this virus than anything else in my medical career because I think that my patients are owed that diligent research and the truth on my part. And so I feel very confident when I make a recommendation, I feel very confident that I put it in my own body and in my family's bodies. So I cannot recommend the vaccine enough, but I also think all my patients should be educated. I always encourage my patients to be their own advocate, to ask your questions. You don't have to accept anything blindly. So I would encourage you to reach out to your physician or to any of the doctors at MMC and have your questions answered regarding the COVID vaccine so that you feel safe and secure in your decision to go ahead and get the vaccine.